Welcome back everybody to the New Zealand Skateboarding Association newsletter number 16, Autumn. Now what autumn means to me is usually warm clear water, lots of swell activity and as I sort of mentioned that it is a segue into what potentially could be the biggest swell to hit, have hit the northeastern coast in a long long time with Cyclone Pam's arrival. I've already been doing a little bit of filming to document it and we're going to be doing all sorts of fun and stupid things while Pam is here so um, keep your eyes peeled to this YouTube channel for what's happening as well as of course we'll be updating through all the social media over the coming days. Um, this news that is really just a bit of a recap from what has been happening and what's coming up so here's a little bit of footage from Eastern Gold. Do something sick for the camera. Shell? On a shell yeah. and it's pretty deep, yeah. so we've got it all bandaged. And, uh, Mum's coming, yeah. and you're probably going to get stitches. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I don't know. Unlucky, I reckon. Have you had stitches before? No. Uh -huh. No. Oh well. Let's see what it's like. Okay. Well, you landed a five shove today, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's probably not quite the announcement that we need to make, but <laughs> Kieran's now on the RXS Skidboards and Association team, so there's another member for you, for your young enthusiasts out there. Well done, Kieran. It was a great solid little turnout, a lot of new faces which is always very positive to see because it shows that there's actually reach is getting out to people that are sort of outside my extended circle which is for me is always very positive and it was great to, great to meet a heap of you and see a, a, like a heap of you ripping rails for the first time. There wasn't too much carnage except of course for Kieran who cut his foot and yeah, he's got a few stitches but anyway coming up in the next little while. Next on the list is the barrier trip on April 7th to the 12th. Now we're going to head over there and just do a bit of filming and a little bit of coaching with the youth centre there. So the whole trip again will be documented and we'll be filming and we'll be doing the whole lot. So there'll be plenty of updates again running through this channel with sort of daily vlogs and a lot of drone stuff and, and basically everything that I've sort of gotten used to now. And then of course a little while after that, once we come home, is going to be Saturday the 25th of April, with it, which is actually Anzac Day, the Langs Jam. Now this will be run through the association as well as the unofficial sort of 7th birthday of Oxy Skimboards. So there's going to be a whole heap of giveaways, I'm really going to make a big push and make a big effort for this event. So we'll have food on, probably spend the weekend up there somewhere and organise a whole heap of stuff for you. Um, again, you know, those who are ripping on the day are always rewarded and, and it, you know, if we're spending a weekend up there, it's certainly an open invite for everyone and we'll basically just have a great time. 
there's not too much plan after that. I think this is a little bit of a recap from my Bay of Plenty trip, which I actually cut short, and all the videos are on that on this channel. And there's a bit of a bit of a recap on the website as well as just um, the general information. I've run with video formats for everything, just because I find it the easiest way to do and kind of the most accurate way to actually put the information out. So check it, check out the channel and. For those of you who are around the Bay of Plenty region or can travel there, I think Mount Monganui, the main beach there, is probably some of the most potential of any urban area for skimboarding, probably in the country. I think it's fantastic. So we'll probably look at making a trip there again, sort of a weekend event type thing. Um, possibly Queen's Birthday weekend, which I do believe is the first weekend in June, as it usually is. So keep an eye out for those details as well. For those of you who would like to go on a trip and We'll probably stay at a campground or again something similar, it's a long, long way away so all that will be organised at the time. So that is of course the newsletter for this month, something just quick and simple. Keep an eye out to the website and all the social media, all the links are below in the description for the updates for these upcoming events and media and, and basically everything that's happening because it's still very warm and it's still a very, very busy next couple of months. All you guys at Napier who um, I didn't quite get down there the other week because I got injured. We're going to pencil that in for probably early May. I've got that sort of put aside. So we'll be making a trip to that Napier stretch basically ASAP as soon as time's freed up a little. So again, keep an eye out because that'll all be updated through the website and social network and all, and all that sort of thing. So that is the newsletter for the month again. Stay safe out there, especially with this incoming cyclone. For those of you who I'll see you at the beach, I look forward to it. I am Sam Price from the New Zealand Skimboarding Association. See you. If you'd like to come on this trip, you can either book it all yourself and plan it all yourself, or you can come get involved with us and stay with us and film and, and do it. Absolutely beautiful here today. Oh, I made it.